In question number 11, a particle is projected from point A at a distance 4 r from the center of earth with the speed v0 as shown. What should be the maximum speed of particle if minimum distance happens to be the radius of earth? r is the radius of earth here. This is the situation actually. It has been projected from here with speed v0, this angle being 30 degree. It will move around earth like this way and this is the minimum distance. So definitely at the least distance from the earth surface the particles shall have the maximum speed. So definitely we need to find the speed at this point. Got it? So let the speed at this point being v. So I would say by applying the principle of conservation of angular momentum it is m into v naught into this distance was how much? It was 4 r and this angle theta it is 30 degrees. So, sine of theta it will be 1 by 2 must be equal to m. Here the velocity is v and the distance is r. So, v must be equal to 2 v naught. Okay. We need to find this velocity. Now, we will apply the principle of conservation of mechanical energy for the gravitational forces here. So, I would say here the potential energy was minus G capital M small m divided by 4 R plus 1 by 2 m V naught square would be equal to here it is minus G capital M small m R plus 1 by 2 m V square or uh, this V was how much? It was 2 V naught. So, G capital M small n divide by R 1 minus 1 by 4 would be equal to 1 by 2 M this is 4 and this V naught it will be 3 V naught square. So, this M will cancel out. I am getting this answer as 3 V naught square divide by 2 is equal to 3 G M divide by 4 R. So, V naught would be how much? It is square root of G m divided by 2 r. But the velocity V was twice of this V naught. So, definitely I would say V that is the maximum speed at the nearest point. It would be how much? It would be 2 G m divided by r. So, for me, for question number 11, I am getting option 3 as the correct answer. Now we shall proceed to question number 12. In question number 12, from the surface of a sphere of mass m and radius r, a particle of mass small m is to be projected so as to reach the surface of a sphere of mass 4m and radius r. Minimum projection velocity required is. This is just simply the application of conservation of mechanical energy in gravitational field system. Well, this being m, this being 4m and the total distance being how much? It is 6r. So, the feel in this region, it would be along this direction first and then from some point it will be changing the direction and it will be along this direction. We need to evaluate or we need to find that particular point where the direction of field is actually changing. Let this is the particular point which is at a distance of r from here. Okay. So, that means if the particle is projected from here such that it is able to reach up to this point at least then from here to here it will move automatically. That means what we can say we shall provide here that much of the speed only to reach at least to this point. Got it? So, let us have the calculation here. So, this point is the point with the zero gravitational field. So, I would say it is G capital M divided by R square must be equal to G 4 capital M and this being 6 R minus R whole square. This GM will cancel out and finding the root of these two equations on both sides, I am getting 1 by R is equal to 2 divided by 6 R minus R or effectively 6 r is equal to 3 r and 
r is equal to 2r so this distance is 2r so this distance will be how much 4r it's not been drawn in proportion but anyway we are writing this finding at this point itself so now i'll write down the conservation of mechanical energy in gravitational field system i'm taking the velocity here that is given to be v naught let's say so that means the potential energy here at this point it is minus of g capital m small m this distance being r here then potential energy because of this point it is minus of g it is 4m small m this distance is how much it is 5r plus 1 by 2m v naught square must be equal to the potential energy at this point it is minus g capital m small m this distance is 2r minus g 4m small m and this distance was 4r so have this calculation i'll be getting this one as 1 by 2 mv not square would be equal to g m m divided by r it is 1 plus 4 by 5 minus 1 by 2 minus 1 or if we calculate this portion we'll be getting the value of v not to be equal to square root of 3 capital g m divided by 5r so looking onto the option we are getting option 1 as the correct answer for question number 12 now we shall proceed to question number 13 uh, in question number 13 an open cubical tank was initially fully filled with water when the tank is excavated on a horizontal plane along one of its edge it was found that one third of volume of water is spilled out the explanation is this is the situation actually initially the whole of the container was completely filled so definitely the volume will be how much v not is equal to a cube and in next stage when it was excavated with the explosion a not here the liquid inside the container will take a shape like this one so this is the reason that is still occupied by the liquid and this reason is completely empty now so this much of the water has been spilled out and uh, it was said that it was found that one third of the volume of water spilled out that means this volume that's actually being spilled out it is one third of the volume of the water got it so well first we need to find this particular angle theta here how much it would be it would be g along this direction and a not along this direction so tan theta would be how much it will be a not by g and let this height is h so i would say this being angle theta from here i would say tan theta would be h divided by a or h is equal to a not is the expression g into a so volume of this much of the reason is v1 i am writing it down as 1 by 2 a height here it is a not a by g and the width along this direction will still be how much it is a itself so it will be a and volume total it was a cube so effectively this much of the value was given to be how much it is 1 by 3 so i am getting this answer as a not divided by 2g is equal to 1 by 3 or effectively expression a not that is coming out to be 2 g by 3 so for question number 13 i am getting option 2 as the correct answer now i shall proceed to question number 14 in question number 14 a soap bubble has radius r and thickness d that is much more less than r 
it collapses into a spherical drop the ratio of excess pressure in the drop to that of the inside the bubble is originally this was the bubble with very small width here so if the excess pressure i'm writing it down as p1 in initial case it would simply be 4 s divided by r this is our first equation now all of this water will collapse and that will form a soap bubble so i'll find the radius of that soap bubble first it will be 4 pi r square was original surface area width was d this was the volume so now it become 4 by 3 pi r cube so this 4 pi will cancel out and i am getting this value of radius r cube to be equal to 3 r square into d okay so this time the excess pressure inside the drop it will be p2 it will be 2 s by small r 2 s by small r so the ratio of excess pressure p2 divide by p1 it will be 2s divide by r into 4s divide by capital r so just uh, cubing both of this side i'll be getting p2 by p1 whole cube as r cube divide by 8 small r cube small r cube is having the value 3 r square into d that means this is r cube and here it is 8 into 3 capital r square d or i will be saying capital r divided by 24 d okay so that means p2 divided by p1 would be how much p2 divided by p1 would be r divided by 24 d to the power 1 by 3 so for question number 14 I am getting option 3 as the correct answer. Now we shall proceed to question number 15. Here in question number 15, a spherical ball of mass m and radius x is gently released in a viscous liquid. The mass of liquid displaced by it is m dash, such that m is greater than m dash. The terminal velocity of the ball of same material of radius x is proportional to. If uh, terminal velocity is v, then I would be saying it as the weight of mg must be balanced by the buoyancy force plus 6 pi nrv this being the viscous force so definitely i would say m minus m dash into g divided by 6 pi nr would be the terminal velocity this is the radius r and here this being given as how much x so i would say velocity would directly be proportional to m minus m dash divided by x this radius r here it is given to be x so i'm replacing the value of r to be x here so i'm getting option one as the correct answer for question number 15. now we shall proceed to question number 16. 